Hi everyone, this is Hilal Ahmed and welcome to another Flutter application development tutorial. Guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can change this default color to another color like red, green, uh, yellow, uh, any any color you want. But first, I will add uh, another property here, uh, a floating action button. So to add a floating action button, simply type floating action button and it will accept the floating action button. Um, floating action button widget here, okay? So in the on press, we will simply call it uh, like this. We will uh, leave it empty. If you want to perform any action on this uh, floating button, so you need to uh, add this, uh, add that action or that method in uh, inside this curly braces. And uh, we will also add a icon to this button. Uh, so we don't need our text widget here. So we need icon. So we will simply call, type icon okay icon and uh, inside this okay icon like this icon and inside this icons dot icons dot add okay so it will add the plus sign to this button and if i hard restart our application you will notice a button here okay as you can see here we have a button and a plus sign on it so now uh, to change the app or color we need to add a background color property like this background color property and type colors dot and these uh, all colors are coming from google material design okay so uh, if you uh, choose this uh, cyan c y a n and hit enter and if you want to choose another shade of this color so you need to press ctrl or command and uh, click on this color so as you can see here this is the material color and all these are shade and these these are the shade code so if you want to uh, use this 600 shade so you need to uh, add square brackets like here and uh, type 600 so it will change the shade if i type 900 like this so it will change the color shade okay so we need the 600 and i will just simply hard restart the application and you will notice the a bar color will be changed okay as you can see here the a bar color is changed to this cyan and now for the floating action button we will do the same simply type the background color and colors dot cyan and add the square brackets and type 600 and hard restart the application so the button will also be changed okay as you can see here the button color is also changed now we will customize our text widget so to customize the text widget first of all we need to add uh, we need to increase the font size so to increase the font size we need to we need to add a property to this text widget and the property is style style and it will we accept the text style widget okay text style text style and inside this text style widget we can assign font size font size property and we will give a 20 okay and if i click on hard restart so it will change the font size and as you can see here the font is 20 pixel now and if you want to change the font weight font weight and you will simply type the font weight and you can use this property w100 w200 w300 and w400 and we have uh, another properties like if we type font weight like this so we can use the font weight dot bold uh, till 900 so if we choose the board and hard restart the application so you will notice the difference here as you can see here our font is born now and if you want to change the color of this text so you need to type color and color start and i will give it a color like uh, okay uh, like deep orange okay so i will just simply select this one and i will just simply hard restart the application and now you will notice the text will be an orange color but i need to change this uh, to 40 so our font will be more visible
okay as you can see here the font is more visible now if you want to change the font family of this uh, font or this text so you need to type font family and we need to type font sorry font okay family oh okay let me add the font in asset folder so to download the font go to your browser and go to fonts.google.com and select a font you want to add in your project from here i will just uh, select this twinkle star and i will click on download family so it will download my font and i will go to the folder i will just simply extract it here and i will go to this folder i will minimize this and now i need to add a folder for this font in my pro, uh, project directory so i will just simply uh, click uh, right click on this uh, project name and new and directory and i will call it fonts okay so now as you can see here we have a fonts uh, directory here and we need to drag and drop this font from here to this font family and i will just simply click on refactor and as you can see here our font is added but the main thing is we need to we need to tell the flutter to uh, we need to tell the flutter that we have added a font from outside uh, our project so we need uh, you need to go to pubspec.yml file and this is the configuration file like you can add the different packages here or dependencies here so as you can see here everything is intended here so you 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 need to very you need to be very careful uh, in this file okay so like uh, below here uh, as you can see here we have our fonts and uh, family so i just uh, simply i will just simply uncomment it from control and forward slash okay and uh, i don't need uh, these all so i will just simply remove this and as you can see here uh, we need to intend this font uh, to this uses material design uh, because these are uh, these all are the children of this flutter okay so whenever you are uh, whenever you are adding any dependency or package here so you need to correct the identification here otherwise you are uh, package or dependency didn't work in your application okay so we need to set it so i will just simply uh, <coughs> type backspace okay the one and i will just simply hit one one okay and simply this one okay now as you can see here the uses material design and this font are identified and uh, we will open the fonts and as you can see here the name is uh, different here so we need to uh, use this name so i will just simply use that name twinkle star okay and the directory is uh, same and as you can see here the font name is same but we will change to the scheduler to this one okay so we need to add this like this twinkle star and now we will close the perfect.tml we will close this and uh, okay uh, we need to save this okay so we will save it and as you can see here the uh, android studio says uh, perfect has been edited get dependencies so you just need to click on get dependencies and it will get the dependency and it will let uh, it will let know the flutter that uh, font is added from outside okay so we need to close it and click on this okay uh, this is updated so we just ignore it okay to add that font or to access that font uh, in your text uh, widget so we need to add the font family and we will add the name like this uh, i will just simply paste it here hyphen regular dot uh, T T F okay think uh, regular okay now we will simply hot reload our application hot restart sorry okay 
we need to we will try to remove this and I will simply <coughs> or restart it again why this is not changing twinkle star regular okay let me go away okay twinkle star I simply need to call this name this one okay not this whole name okay so we will check it now okay as you can see here our font family is changed okay uh, the name uh, we call here is this one okay so make sure you remember this or you just simply copy and paste it we 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 don't need to add this uh, full name that we call star hyphen regular because we are uh, adding it here in the uh, public.yml file okay so there's how you can change the app or color or button color and there's how you can customize your text widget in your flutter application so um, i hope you like and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and if you are new to my channel so make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you won't miss the upcoming videos